Hai, Assalamualaikum InsyaAllah hari ini saya akan share berkenaan dengan design connection uh, pada if uh, column antara iaitu pertemuan antara rafter dan juga column ok so saya akan tunjukkan kita imbaskan balik uh, kita punya modeling dari dalam step pro ok so ini kita punya portal frame ok so uh, we go to the post processing and then we click at the beam ok as you can see here this rafter at the end uh, at the support we have the, the value of the moment and of course we have the value for the shear force ok so uh, the first step is uh, we need to find the value for the shear force and also the bending moment at this uh, support Okay, to check this value, how much is uh, first, we go to here, we click at uh, the generated uh, load. Okay, so uh, the next step is we go to the graph. Okay, so we click at this uh, point, we, we click at this member. So uh, we can see here, uh, the member is a uh, content of uh, bending moment of 782 kilo meter and also we have this shear force in here of the uh, 257 kilo okay so this is uh, the important parameter we need to input in uh, our design so um, uh, the first is uh, what connection is uh, we gonna design okay so if we can see here so it consists of moment and also shear force so our connection must be uh, must uh, what we call yeah connection ni uh, yang boleh mengambil moment sebab uh, semua connection boleh mengambil shear force tetapi tidak semua connection boleh mengambil bending moment so connection kita mestilah connection yang boleh mengambil nilai moment so uh, saya akan tunjuk uh, example. Okay. So, inilah kita punya uh, connection. So, as we can see here, this uh, this is a column and this is a, a rafter and with the hunch. So, at, at this point, uh, we have the value of the shear force and also uh, bending moment. So, after the load is applied, which is after shear force is acting on this rafter and also after moment is acting on this rafter, what will happen for this uh, rafter is it will rotate it and will become like this. Okay, so at this point, uh, the web of the column will be in tension. So, and at this point of the web of the column will be in compression. So that's why we call it this connection is a shear and tension connection. It can uh, resist the shear force and also it can resist the moment. Okay, so let's take a look at the parameter. So first is a uh, shear force, which is uh, 257 kilonewton, and then we have the bending moment, the bending moment value, which is 782. 782 kilonewton and then we have the y max y max here is uh, the value of the level arm for the bolt to be rotated okay so um, for the y max the le level arm maximum is uh, the, the the value from the pivot point which is the point of the rotation the point of the rotation until the center of the bolt so this is the value y max 953 and then we have the y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 okay so in this design uh, i will use uh, m m30 bolt uh, grade 8.8 8, and also i will use uh, 10 mm thick uh, fillet wet 
Okay, so the first is we need to know what is our shear force value. Okay, so our shear force value we can strictly uh, take the value from the moment uh, the shear force diagram from the this from this step row, which is uh, two hundred and fifty seven. And then we need to know our tension force value. So how to calculate tension force value is by this by by using this formula. Okay, so P is equal to force, A is equal to the level arm, and then Y max over 2 times uh, total of level arms uh, square. Okay, so uh, P E here is also equal to bending moment, which is uh, this value. Okay. So in this uh, example, uh, I just uh, try an error. Uh, this bolt arrangement is like this, lah. Okay. So uh, we put the value. Uh, nilai bending moment kita adalah 782 kilo newton. Kemudian kita kena darabkan dengan uh, 1000 kerana kita punya y max di sini. Kita punya nilai y adalah di dalam unit mm. Uh, manakala kita punya unit uh, bagi bending moment adalah kilo newton meter so kita kena convert meter kepada millimeter so kita kena darab 1000 so kita darab dengan nilai y max dan kemudian bahagi dengan 2 dan kita darab dengan total level arms kuasa 2 so ini kuasa 2 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 dan kemudian kita total up so inilah nilainya okey So kemudian uh, kita dapatkan nilai tension force kita adalah sebanyak 250.91 kN. So the next step is we go to the checking. So the first checking is a direct shear at the bolt. So uh, the first is we need to know our shear force value is uh, 257 kN. So we calculate the shear force acting on each bolt is... Uh, We divided by the number of the bolt. So, as we can see here, our number of the bolt is uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 10, 12. Okay. So, kita punya number of bolt adalah 12. So, inilah kita punya shear force yang bertindak ke atas setiap bolt. Okay. Dan kemudian, uh, kita kenal pasti berapakah nilai Resisten bagi setiap bolt bagi uh, M30 grade 8.8 uh, grade 8.8 bolt saja bukan anchor bolt. So bersamaan dengan 210 kN. Ini kita boleh rujuk kepada table lah. Kalau tuan-tuan guna table Eurocode uh, akan jumpa lah nilai-nilai resisten bagi setiap bolt tu berapa lah. Untuk bagi tension dan juga bagi shear force. So, uh, kita compare antara resistance dan juga dengan uh, force acting on the bolt. So, kita boleh lihat nilai resistance kita lebih tinggi daripada nilai uh, shear force kita. So, kita punya direct shear at the bolt is okay. Dan kemudian, uh, kita pergi kepada check number 2 which is direct shear at the weld. Okay. So, uh, the first is uh, kita kena tahu berapakah nilai Uh, direct shear over wet length So nilai ini saya rujuk di dalam table juga Tuan-tuan boleh lihat lah Dalam table uh, rujukkan tuan masing-masing uh, Kalau tuan guna BS, BS lah Kalau tuan guna Eurocode, Eurocode lah Okay, so nilainya adalah 1.54 uh, kN per millimeter Ini adalah bagi 10mm thick weld Okay, so wet length Okay, wet length bagi uh, bagi rafter di sini dan juga hunch di sini saya just uh, take uh, 700 total. Okay, so uh, wet length is 700 and then we calculate the uh, FVRD. So FVRD is uh, we uh, multiply by these two, so we get this value and then we compare to shear force. So we found that our resistance is more higher than the shear force. Okay, so The, shear, the direct shear at the weld is okay. 
and then uh, the third checking is uh, tension at bolt okay so uh, we need to know our tension force acting on each bolt which is uh, 250.91 uh, kilonewton uh, as we calculated before so the second one is uh, we determine our tension resistance uh, for the bolt okay so our tension resistance is uh, 314 kilonewton this is for the grade m30 grade 8.8 volt okay, so uh, we found that our resistance is higher than uh, tension okay so it is okay and then uh, the last checking is check number four which is uh, tension at the weld okay so our tension force is uh, same value which is 250.91 kilonewton okay so the tension force uh, the tension resistance of a wet length is 1.93 kilonewton per millimeter this is uh, for 10 mm thick weld okay so our wet length is uh, 700 and then we get the value for the tension resistance which is equal to 1351 kilonewton. Uh, so uh, we found that our resistance is larger than the tension force. So it is okay. So our overall uh, checking is okay. So our bolt arrangement and the weight is okay to capture the shear force and also the bending moment. So our connection is okay. okay so uh, Itu saja uh, perkongsian daripada saya. Uh, so, insya Allah kalau tuan-tuan nak kan nota rujukan bagi uh, desain dan pengiraan ini, tuan-tuan bolehlah pergi kepada previous uh, video saya. Okay, di dalam previous video saya, kalau tuan-tuan boleh lihat di sini, di sini, Saya sudah tulis, siapa yang inginkan nota berkenaan desain faceplate, faceplate boleh pergi ke link di bawah ini. Okay, ini linknya. So, link ni ada banyak nota. So, tuan-tuan boleh lihat. Oh, minta maaf kerana line internet saya agak slow. So, tuan-tuan boleh buka lah link ni dan tuan-tuan boleh tengok dia tulis uh, uh, join design in Eurocode 3. So, di situ adalah cara-cara untuk design uh, the connection. Okay, itu saja daripada saya. Uh, terima kasih. Uh, InsyaAllah, in the next video, saya akan share juga cara-cara untuk kita design uh, connection pada kedudukan FX which is the rafter between the rafter. Okay, so itu saja dari saya. Assalamualaikum.